97.6 it says on there. I've got 97.5. That's pretty close. Okay, and that goes all the way from there, which is about 10.5 meters, all the way to the model over here, which we have set up. is the printed out one sheet and so this here this is the just a bit of string to show you the angles so what do we have here this is the represents the earth in the blue and these are 15 degree markers these are five degree markers it's 90 degrees right on there and that there is five degrees the other side so, so that's 85 90 95 degrees if you fold that right the way out with the string to a distance of 1.2 meters here we have the 90 degrees and the 85 degrees now this is the moon's orbit coming around through here and these are actually marking half degree marks because we're going to be moving the moon from west to east at half a degree per every hour as opposed to the moon, which will be, sorry, the earth will be rotating every 15 degrees. One hour, so it represents 15 degrees. You can put the time on there. So that's if we add a full 180 degree rotation of 180 degrees, and we're going to move the moon approximately 6 degrees. We'll see how we go. And this uh, tape measure, just to confirm, we've got the length set up right from the so 1,206 millimetres, 205, 206 millimetres from the face of the earth, the blue air, 1,206 millimetres, right up to the end, right in the line there. So we've got the distance set out, so, and they've got the cameras recording. So we've got this camera here, which is going to be recording the, uh, the rotation, a close-up of the rotation of the Earth. This camera is going to give us a wide view of the whole model as it's working. This camera is going to give us a close-up of the Moon's orbit as we're going around the orbit. And this final camera is going to give us a shot, a very close-up shot of the model of the Earth as it spins around, of the shadow moving across the Earth. So what we'll do now, I'll we'll set the model up and we'll see how we go. Okay, I've got the model set up. Before we do that, we'll just go confirm the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which is a light source you can see on the ground over there. So we'll measure that. This is lined up with the face of the Earth. red light hitting on that box which is in line with the face of the uh, spotlight and that comes down to 10,489 millimeters I think the distance is 10,482 but a few millimeters is not going to make any difference at all with this model so we'll move that out the way move that out the way now one thing I forgot to mention with this model is that you notice these two little marks on here have we got them here and here that represents the west coast and the east coast of USA between uh, between Oregon and and Charlotte it's about 4,000 just over 4,000 kilometers that's the scale distance of about 12.5 millimeters and I put some tape on there so 12.5 millimeters running around there so that's roughly a scale distance we have on there and this west coast side here the west coast that lines up through here and that lines up with a white mark down there okay all recording yep i believe so all right let's get started so first we'll do we'll rotate the earth we'll, we'll start it at we'll start it at 6 6 a.m in the morning on the west coast okay 
our first will rotate and the moon's ready in the starting position we'll rotate the earth 15 degrees to the east it's 15 degrees it's set up through there and rotate the moon half a degree at the same one hour time period not rotate but actually the moon's orbit will move Okay, that's half a degree. Back to the Earth. That's 7 a.m. at the moment. Now I rotate to 8 a.m., another 15 degrees, another hour. So now 8 a.m. That's right on it there. And we'll move the moon another half a degree. So about half a degree there. Back to the Earth. Rotate it. That's 8 a.m. We'll move to one more hour, another 50, 15 degrees to 9 a.m. And now we'll orbit the moon, another half a degree. You can probably see just on the model there, it's you see in the moon's penumbra just in the hitting the corner on there on the earth it comes into comes in the view. Okay, so leave it there. Nine degrees. Now this is where the eclipse should be starting roughly, so we'll rotate the earth another 15 degrees to 10 a.m. lined up 9 degrees I'm gonna rotate the moon not rotate orbit the moon another half a degree as it comes across up there and there we go so right now well we can see the, the moon's penumbra and the umbra now hitting right on at 10 a.m coming right down there so we'll now continue and let's see rotate to 11 a.m. it's another 15 degrees there and another 15 degrees sorry another 5 degrees for the moon It right on there. Now you can already see already that in that uh, same rotation period the shadow has actually moved from west to east faster. Now we're going to rotate to midday. It's right at 90 degrees there. Well, that's it. It's a rather nice degrees there. And we'll move the moon another five degrees. And there we have made another five degrees. Fifteen 
degrees. Five degrees. One of the cameras is about to go dead on me, I think. Another 15 degrees. Another five degrees. And the last one. 12 hour day, 180 degree rotation. Finishes out through there. Uh, that should be it. Uh, one last thing, have a quick look out here if we can. Oh, it won't bother rotating that. I'll move the moon, I'll move the shadow back over there. And that is the the size. We know the size of the uh, of the moon was about 10, 10 mil. Well, if you look on there, that penumbra is significantly smaller than 10 mil. In fact, I don't know what the actual size would be, but that dark patch you see on there is literally half the size than what it used to be, maybe even less. So, so, yeah, so that's it.